Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we are taking a look at Big Ramy, Mom Duels by A. This is him at the 2020 Mr. Olympia event. Of course, he placed first, he won the title, he is our Mr. Olympia champion. A lot of people consider this to be his greatest version, his best version, most conditioned, whatever, what have you. He did, after all, defeat Phil Heath among many, many others, but he, you know, most notably, in my opinion, defeated Phil Heath. And he could not defeat Phil Heath in 2017. But, guys, don't misconstrue the situation. Phil Heath was nowhere near as deadly and as potent as he was in 2017. And he was the champion. Right there, you have some potency. You know, you really have to knock the champion out. But I have to say, 2017, guys, he was arguably better than Phil, a much better Phil. And a lot of people consider him the uncrowned 2017 Mr. Olympia champion and not Phil Heath. But, I mean, the question remains, if he did bring this package to the 2020 Olympia, would he have won the title? Mm, I think maybe, I think maybe. But would he have been better than the 2020 you know, version of himself. And this is, I'm going to begin, of course, with the front relaxed position, but this is not the best pitcher for 2019, or for 2020, rather. I apologize, not 2019. This is 2017, 2020. Not the best footage. And I think that's pretty consistent. There's front double by, which was a terrible shot. The best, you know, the, the photos that you could find, but I did track a couple other better pitchers down. Anyway, the ab separation is better for 2017, I would say. But like I said, you can't really make a true decision on this. This is a very blurry pitcher for 2020, so you cannot see conditioning. Now, let us go through the poses, and this is a darker foreboding picture of the front double by but hey you can really see that he is good judging by the the front double buys that you can easily obtain they were terrible shots he wasn't even flexing but to use this one here he really is good in 2020 guys the wheels are maybe more separated in the midsection it looked more separated in 2017 but here he's he's posing better he has elongated midsection. He's flexing much different. You could see that. Looks like he's crouching down slightly, 2017. Trying to flex his abs a little bit more. But having said that, I mean, it's not a, you know, it's not a total blowout. I just personally think 2020 is the better version in this pose. But there is also this, the Saturday show. And this is the picture of the front double by from 2020. This is what they give you on uh, NPC News Online. And he's not even flexing at all. Now there is this one here. And it is much better. Now compare the arms. Now compare the midsections. Now yes, like I said, maybe some better muscle separation. But he's flexing much different. He's crouching down 2017. His whole physique looks different just by the way he's posing. And I do like the way he's posing. 2020, you know, minimizes the size of his waistline and makes the arms look bigger, makes the legs look better. Now, sizing was a little bit difficult because of his stance as well. He's bending at the knees, 2017. And keep in mind, guys, this is the, the finals, and I would wager to say that he was not quite as conditioned, not quite, I think he was maybe look, uh, look a little bit better for the first day for 2017. But anyway, go to the front lat spread. Now, this one here, you can really see the differences, guys. Wheels look good for both versions, for sure. And arguably drier, 17, but that separation looks just as good or better in 2020. Now, the lats themselves look better, bigger, boomer, booming for 2017. Chest looks less conditioned, but much bigger and thicker and fuller. You see the big packs on him? Ab separation again. Got a point to 2017 for being the better version. 
go to the next day and see now something happened to his lat definitely something happened to his right lat guys 2020 so use this version here all he did was crouch down a little bit and when you do use this one you know it made his lats look more symmetrical but it he's not as good as 2017 i would wager to say the conditioning is so similar like I said, more vascular, drier for 17, maybe more muscle separation for 20. So conditioning is a toss-up, but judging by this one, guys, for sure, 2017, just from the lats alone. Turn to the side, and I know, I know, I made them way different heights, even though it's the same dude. Look at his far lag, guys. His far lag is uh, pretty straight, 2017, and I like that. Not only that, but he's holding his delt way downward, 2020, so that makes his upper body look a little bit lower as well. But having said that, 2017 for sure, just by the stance. And here's a food for thought. His calves are way bigger, in my opinion. From certain shots, they look a whole lot bigger and better for 2017. And tricep, from what I can see, looks a lot bigger. Go to the next day. Saturday show. Now see, he does look a little bit flatter, I think, for 2017, the next day. The the uh, lag separation, muscle separation in the quads looks a little bit better. I think he dried out a little bit more for 20. And he might not have been as good for 2017, the next day. But still, I think judging by the stance, his chest, his chest is bigger. I think 2017... Would get not only the front lat spread, but also the side chest development. Now go to the side tricep, and you'll notice I didn't make 2017 quite as tall in comparison. The legs are the same, but his upper body's different. He's crouching down, and I think his display is much better for 2020, showing his midsection. Now, don't get me wrong. I like how he shows the uh, ab separation. He's got very good ab separation in 2017. I like that. But hey, overall, I do like the silhouette of the upper body for 2020. But then when you look at the arms and even the muscle separation in the wheels, look at 17, guys. Not to mention the stance. He does stand taller, and I like that. He's got a lot more meat on the tricep itself. And there is no, there is no uh, Saturday show for 2017, unfortunately. So we're just going to use this one. And I would wager to say 17 is better from the side. But guys, we haven't seen the back developments yet. And this one is a good battle for sure, for sure. Now back for back. I like 17. He, he's holding his back better. It looks meatier. It looks thicker. I don't know if it's any drier. I think 20 is a little drier. But look at the lat insertions, guys. The Christmas tree area, a little bit more prominent for sure. Now, glute for glute, it's very close, very close. Maybe drier, maybe more striated for 2020. But his 2000, or the uh, the hamstrings are drier. Look at the center, the, the middle of the hamstrings. Look at that. So this is going to be of some debate, guys. He does look like he is in a little bit better condition for 2020. Go to the next day. And his back, I I think he's holding his back more similar here in 2020. You can see the traps a little bit more prominent. And he does look drier. I'm serious, guys. Look at the, the, the middle of the, the hamstrings. They look much drier, much more striated in this time. The glutes are a little bit flat for 2017 the next day. So, I don't know, guys. I was thinking 2017 all along, but he looks so much more peeled in the hamstrings. In particular, the, the, the center of the hamstrings. Go to the rear double by. Ooh. Now, you get all hyped up for one version, and then it's the lat insertions that you could see in the rear lat. But they were definitely not as prominent as you can see here. Look at that lower back. The Christmas tree area of 2017 looks perfect. His delts might look better too. Traps. Traps are good for both versions. 
but the lower Latin insertions, man, oh man, this is a, this is a tough matchup. Go to the next day. And again, I have to point to the hamstrings, guys, the glutes. He is in better condition for 2020, period, period. But then when you look at the lower back, I mean, back for back, again, you got to use that word period. He's just plain better. In 2017, he has more muscle. He even looks drier. He looks, well, I don't want drier. He looks, the muscle separation is much better for that back. <sighs> what a tough matchup, guys. We're going to finish this uh, round robin tournament off. Now, the Absenthize 2017. There can be no argument on that one, guys. Look at the ab separation. Now, might have been fuller, might have looked thicker from the side, thicker midsection, things of that nature. But clearly, guys, it translates much better in the abs and thigh pose. Of course, the quad separation, 2020, does look a little bit more crisp, I would wager to say. And his stance, once again, his stance is not quite as perfect. Kind of just threw his arms up. You see what I'm saying? In 2017 and in 2020, he, uh, he had a very calculated plan on every single one of his poses. He has better balance over his legs for 2017, if that uh, means anything to you. Looks like his quads match his calves a little bit better. But anyway, guys, that uh, could be of some debate. Finish this one off for real this time. Most muscular. Looks good for both versions. You throw in the abs, I mean, 2017 is your pick. But the upper body, striations, you know, delts look good. Arms are more complete for 17, but I mean, I mean, the delts in this shot here, they look a little bit better for 17, but I don't know. I don't know. It's of some debate, and so is this matchup. I do believe the judges probably would give this one if they were, you know, they were able to do this judge them on uh, live on stage i think the the hamstrings the center of the hamstrings would be the difference for a real judge but i'm not a real judge i uh i look at aesthetics you know fullness you know completeness i should say i think 2017 is a little bit better and if i was going to do a tournament with bodybuilders using their pitchers and versions i would use 2017 against you know other bodybuilders of different eras. I think he would uh, stand a better chance with that version. Anyway, guys, that's my two cents on it. And I would like to ask you guys a favor, if you don't mind. And if you're not into professional wrestling, just shut the, the video off now because it's not for you. Don't worry about it. But if it is your thing, guys, I'm going to be linking a matchup of mine and a very close personal friend is the owner of that YouTube channel, and he is trying his hardest to get enough view hours to get monetized, but he has not yet. But let's give him some old Mark's Max muscle help and, you know, view some of them old matchups, watch mine, and then, you know, watch some other matches as well. Have a great day, guys.